What's going on guys, the Luke Gamer over here. And in this video, I wanna sort of show you guys my work at home setup and how I do my business editing all of my videos. If you guys enjoy this video, give me a like and a subscribe because I wanna bring you guys some more awesome, I would say vlogs like these for my channel. But without further ado, fellas, let's go ahead and let's do it. I wanna show y'all is my really awesome gaming chair. This over here is the Thunder X Gaming Revolution and it's a really comfortable one too. As y'all can see, it's got a really awesome pattern in the back here with the blue and black theme. Because I wanted something that would just sort of tie into any sort of theme that I put through my PC rig. As y'all can see, see over here, it's made out of a fox leather. Really loving the way how comfortable this chair is. And honestly, fellas, it feels like you just sort of soak into this chair and it's nice and comfy. Got yourself a really nice sort of headrest here and a back sort of pillow. So y'all will feel very nice and comfy. Of course, you are able to move these up and down. So, you know, really nice and comfortable and very ergonomic. So especially if y'all are working from home in this really hard time, you want something very comfortable for your back. But that over there, fellas, is this really awesome Thunder X Revolution 3 chair. Let me know what you guys think at the comments. Moving on to the desk over here, fellas. I wanted something that's brown and got a deep kind of tobacco feel to it. And I really like the way this looks like. It's very professional and very minimalistic. Of course, you are able to open this up for your keyboard at the bottom over there, but I thought I'd probably have my keyboard on top. But in case I wanted to store anything at the bottom there, I actually can do that. Moving up over here, as y'all could see, I got myself on my monitor and a whole lot of peripherals on my PC. But now let me go through the first thing, which I would say is the monitor, which you guys don't notice first. This over here is a PG35VQ monitor. It has 200 hertz in it, G-Sync Ultimate, and also HDR10, which basically means a thousand nit peak brightness. I am really loving this monitor for two reasons. First reason I would say is the fact that you're able to game like a beast on this monitor. Second thing is productivity work as well. Doing all of my videos, my editing, and even my spreadsheets on PowerPoint works absolutely perfectly. And of course, the design feature of this monitor too is so beautiful. Just have a look at that. And even when y'all go to the back of the monitor over here, you get all kinds of RGB happening as y'all can see. Of course, you will never see that, but it's a really nice sort of extra additive to have. In case y'all were hearing some kind of noise in the background, this over here is my daughter. Say, say what's up. Yeah, anyway, let's go back to the video. Moving down to, to the peripherals over here, fellas, as we can see a whole lot of RGB happening. Let's start off first with this mouse map. This over here is the Razer Goliathus extended mouse map. I'm really loving the fact that this whole mouse map is RGB and sort of works really nicely with the rest of your Razer peripherals. Of course, moving over here, we got ourselves the Razer Elite Huntsman keyboard. I'm really loving this reason being is because it has RGB even on the side of this uh, lovely keyboard here. It looks so beautiful and it has a really nice clicky sound to it. Just listen to this. Only bad thing about this keyboard, of course, is if you're in a conference as you'll be working from home, no one wants to really hear your keyboard. So you have to definitely put your uh, microphone on mute. But besides that, this keyboard has a bunch of features. I did a full review on this keyboard. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link at the comment below. But you get all kinds of different um, media controls here. You're able to pause, play your songs here, able to rewind, fast forward, even able to use this while you're actually editing. It's a really beautiful keyboard. And of course, you're even able to take this off in case you guys wanted to have something with, with a bit more room on your mouse now, able to put it back on. All kinds of different features, fellas. I'll leave a full review and a link at the comment below, but a really awesome mouse mat and keyboard. In regards to sound, fellas, as we can sort of see over here, I got myself the Razer Normal Chroma speakers over here. Really nice quality sound, and honestly, I am very happy with them. I did want to upgrade to the Razer Normal Chroma ones that actually have the subwoofer and extra speakers on top of it. Those are so damn expensive. Those are ranging at 899 Australian dollars or 850, depending on the time you actually get them on sale. Maybe one day I'll upgrade those, but for now, I think I'm happy with the sound that I have on my system rig. In terms of camera over here, I got myself the Logitech Brio 4K webcam. This over here has the best quality ever and also the best sound with microphone. So in case you guys wanna have yourself good conferencing when they're able to see you nice and clear and have no disruption in audio, I would definitely recommend this, this camera over here. I did a full review on that too and I'll leave that at the link at the comment below. Moving down to my mouse over here, I've had this mouse for the last three and a half years and I have not been able to find a mouse that's good enough to replace this, especially with RGBs. So over here, as we can sort of see, we got ourselves the ROG Sparda gaming mouse with so many buttons. We've got two, four, six, seven, eight, eight buttons on this beautiful, gorgeous mouse over here. It's also wireless too and wired in case you guys want to sort of play that way. But this mouse serves me so, with many awesome things. I'm able to reprogram those buttons to whatever I want and even open up applications too. 
In terms of my PC over here, fellas, this is where all the magic happens and powers up my whole system rig. So buckle your seats, fellas, and let me tell you all about the specifications. Moving on to my case over here, fellas. This over here is the Cooler Master 500M case with the best cooling that I've ever seen on any of my cases. My previous one was the Fantex Evolve series. And honestly, I was getting really bad temperatures with editing. But with this case, I've not seen any issues at all. As we can see over here, fellas, it's got a really nice design language with all kinds of ventilation of air here with mesh at the front. So you will definitely be getting the best temperatures. Even looking at the back over here, you guys get yourselves a tempered glass and some more really awesome vents on top. So it's got this really awesome consistency when it comes to airflow. But now let's talk about all of the components that I have in my PC over here and exactly how they scale up. Having a look at the PC itself, fellas, a whole lot of color. And y'all are probably wondering, how does this guy even game at night with all this distraction? Pretty easy, honestly. I want to go through kind of my components over here so you can sort of see how the system is actually powered up. Having a look at the bottom over here, we, got, we have ourselves the ROG Thor 1200 watt power supply. That gives you real-time usage on all the wattage that you're using, which is pretty cool. It also has a bit of RGB at the side there, as you can see. Moving up over here, we got ourselves the Leon Lee streamer cables, 6-pin and also 4-pin as well, connected to the RTX Gaming Trio MSI 2080 Ti's in NVLink over there. Also got myself the ROG NVLink bridge, which is connected to it as well. I wanted to make sure everything was consistent, which I kind of reckon I did in, in this PC rig over here. Moving on top, we got myself the Delta 250 gigabyte, which I wanted to, to just stick on top there to make sure that's kind of a highlight on this computer. Also got myself the 24 pin Leon Lee streamer, similar to the ones at the bottom over there. I got myself 3,600 megahertz on my Trident Z Royal RAM. Got my MSI RTX 2080 Ti, as I told you guys about, and also the MSI Godlike Z390 motherboard, and of course the Cooler Master MLR360 pump with the 140 millimeter fan at the back, and of course the 200 millimeter fans at the front. In terms of storage, I got myself 1.0 M.2 500 gigabyte with one terabyte SSD storage and four terabytes hard drive storage as well with 720 RPM speed. So I know that's a whole lot of things to speak about, but I wanted to make sure that my system rig over here was definitely powered up by the best components and something that would definitely work the best when it comes to video editing. As you know, I collect a whole lot of loot on my channel, but my favorite character out of them all is Geralt of Rivia, slaying down the griffin as we can see over here. This piece of loot I would always keep for the rest of my moments until I die. Unfortunately, as you guys know, most of my loot I sell on Facebook, so I can afford to unbox new loot for you guys to actually see. So, touch wood, one day I will actually get sponsored so I can keep all of my loot. Having a look at my lovely headset over here, this over here is a Razer Nari Ultimate headset. It's got vibrating mechanics built into this lovely headset itself. I did a full review and unboxing on that. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link at the comment below. But over here, of course, we got ourselves a brand new ROG Thorn um, RGB headset stand. And let me sort of take this off right now so y'all can sort of see how it looks like. This over here is a really badass looking headset stand, and honestly, I am really loving the way this looks like. But that over there, fellas, is my lovely stay-at-home PC setup slash workstation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, because this is my pride and joy that I always go to every single day. After work, before work, in the morning when I start my meetings, but that over there is the Luke Gamers working at home station. If you guys enjoyed, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Deuces.